Okay, so the elevation here is about six feet from here, or eight feet from the base to the top of there. And that's where basically we're going from, transitioning with this stone wall. Sorry for the shaky hand and for the uh, walking job I think. Let me zoom out and give you an idea. These steps are going to go along here and up right about there and then it's going to be tapered off with dirt it's not going to be perfectly there because it would just look kind of stupid um, and let's look at the back of this the back of this wall system it's they're a uh, stone so it won't have much load on it so this is more of a decorative wall because the dirt pitch will start way back there's a wall Behind here, inside is buried, is a lot of gravity, a lot of heavy rocks and debris, not just stone. The wall system, the dirt will start here and slope up to there. So the transfer of the load, it's going to still continue down and it's, uh, and it's ballast, but it's going to miss the base of this wall so it won't affect the front of the wall. If I have a chance, it does settle and move around. It still has to move behind here. There's tons of debris that we're burying back here. And it's going to get tie par over, tap, over top of this. Tie par will filter fabric. Drainage, we're not worried about drainage because the stones are just dry stack. What, and what are you going to think I'm going to do there? I'm going to have water I'm going to back up inside these cracks? No, nope, not at all. They're going to come out, it's going to leak out. Um, the tie par will keep the uh, dirt out of the well, the tie bar, if dirt gets past the tie bar, it's going to have to go through, uh, boy, about two and a half feet of stone before it can even get to this stone. Um, so to put the drainage system at the very bottom of this, it's just saying that all the surface water is going to make its way down two and a half feet to the drain, and then it's going to follow the drain as opposed to coming out through all the available places it's going to have down this wall system. Um, another kicker of that, is after all this is done, this wall system might be moved, so we're not getting too crazy about it. After it goes in, they might move it one more time. This is just something to get them past this old ass crumbly wall. And then we're going to do a double wall system more than likely next year. So this is the first step, and next year we'll get the, uh, the double system. Over here, this void, this dirt to the left will go into this void here to fill it and I've got more fill coming in in about two hours time. Here's my clean stone that's going to be behind the uh, wall system. All right, let's see if I can get a better top shot of it. So there we have the, uh, there now this driveway is forever long and it goes all the way out to there and then down the road about 250 yards or so. Okay, so what we're doing now is we've got tons of more stone back there. That's that's not dirt, that's stone. Um, behind the wall system. We've now started sloping up to the uh, level of the ground up there. And we've got a load coming in, 19 yards coming in. Fill dirt. The previous system had drainage in it and everything else. So I'm going to investigate that, and let me just go ahead and do it now for you. You can see it stayed pretty clear. It's been there 20 years, I think. It had stone around it. So this is how you determine if this system's really going to, um, if, this, if the drainage system really connects. It's still rotted out, all the timbers, to the point, as you can see, they're just totally deteriorated. Um, sorry about that. Let's go out and zoom out. This is what the system looks like as it's failing. So this didn't have any uh, fabric around it, but it has basically the same thing I'm doing. Tons and tons of stone. Um, and then there's the, uh, the drainage system. So as we inspect the stones, they do have dirt all around them. Um, some of it was pushed in by me, so I'm going to do a cutaway with my machine to uh, see if we can find dirt with a uh, stone that don't, does not have all this dirt around it. Nevertheless, when you get to the pipe, the pipe is clear. 
Um, there are the perforated holes you can see through it, but mind you, I just tossed and turned the pipe. Um, but nevertheless, it's not clogged inside. Here's another piece right here as we inspect it. It's pretty damn good. Um, so do you have to put fabric around it? Huh. After 20 years, I would say no. 20 years is how long the system's been here, even though the dirt appears to be uh, infiltrated, infiltrated with dirt, the stones rather, um, it did not affect the pipe. Oh, let's go from there. Okay, update. I did find the fabric was on the pipe, um, or around the pipe. Here's the pipe. The fabric, um, just a few inches away at another location, showing itself. Filter fabric. So this filter fabric's been down here 20 years also. I'm looking at the underside. Um, pretty damn good, as we know again. There we go. Those stones are pretty clear. And we're going to do the same thing, except for our fabric's going to be two foot away from... Uh, it's going to be near the top, not near the bottom. So you'll know um, it's only getting affected by the top six inches of dirt, the filter fabric. And that gives it a lot less uh, dirt to affect the uh, fabric, the drainage system. Okay, here's the side profile. Now we've got the filter fabric down. Tons of stone. And um, back, as you can see, about six feet tapered back. And then we've got this wall system. You can see it's just deteriorated. But I wanted to add an extra note. Here, bear with me while I walk over to it for you guys. An extra note is that, all right, so what contributes to this? Let's just do a couple things here. Let's make a few fist statements. One, the earth's really not moving, but this earth is pretty uh, wet. It's not moving for us, you know, as far as uh, expanding that much. Back here also, it's uh, so it's pretty wet all the way down to the pipe. Mind you, it's only eight inches or so, so the water coming down can run around the face of the uh, the back side of the um, timbers and down to the drainage system, saturating both the timber and the back or the front facing part of this dirt. Um, and I'm going to do a cutaway just now and sh see if I can show you a, a dry spot if we go back just a few inches. Okay, update. To some of my thinking, because you've got to explore it once you have a theory. Um, here's your drainage system going across the wall, going across the wall here behind the, the timbers. Timbers are removed. Here's some filter fabric back here. And he ran the stone maybe six inches, the person did six inches up. But this ground is just saturated, it's just holding water. Um, but even with that said, it's not moving. Remember you saw those, recall you saw the timbers that are all deteriorated. So even though it's saturated, it was pretty stable considering uh, it had nothing holding it back. Nothing, uh, you know, added. So, and there's your drainage system and it's not clogged. It is not clogged. So perhaps the ground got so saturated that it couldn't hold any more water and it mostly came off the top. And then ran down one tier, two tiers, and here we are at grade. Um, there's the other drainage system for the second tier wall, or lower tier, lower level wall. And again, the wall is pretty damn good. But it's just too much water here. It's just saturated. Let's take a look at the lot. Huge, right? This was a tennis court at one time. And here you have it. All right, so when this is done, it should be pretty damn nice. Okay, so I got a pretty cool update. This has been driving me crazy why this earth is so saturated but didn't move. So I did even more of an exploratory cut. Dug back into the mound there, trying to find, actually trying to find when it became dry. Um, it's back about 24 inches and it's not quite dry, but, um, 
it's stable as hell. So it's just the type of dirt. It's just holding moisture. And now, look at this. I, cutting back, I discovered that they've got these con this concrete ledge here. So the, the top part of the drainage system, here's the bottom, the bottom timber. All right, the bottom timber would go inside this pocket that they made, this concrete pocket. Let's go this way with it. And you can see that part of the timbers are there. Right here, this is wood. Um, there's one of the spikes. That's the same spike that's in one of the timbers over. Let me zoom in, give me a second. And you see the spike sticking out? That spike out of that wood? Well, let me zoom back again. So this was done at the same time. And in fact, the, the, uh, the timbers are buried inside this wall, in, in this uh, ledge. And your drainage system is above it about eight inches. So the water comes down, it's supposed to go into this drainage system, but it's not the lowest part of the wall. The lowest part of the wall is another eight inches away. And it's set into a concrete trough or gutter, if you will. Now you get water coming down. It can't come off this concrete ledge, so it rots it out. It just sits there and water this timber. And they made sure to have a, a ledge on the front of it. I mean, they had a nice idea, but now we've got this ledge. I broke off some of it. But we've got this, I know, I'm trying to get you some perspective here. This concrete ledge. Now this is not below grade. So there's another thing to be noted here. That was not below the frost line, but yet we see no cracking, um, which is, you know, pretty cool because you then get to add all right, I can get away with, uh, you know, doing some concrete work that's not <laughs> below frost line and still hold up over 20 years. This would be the example of that. It's only six inches wide or so, or eight inches, eight inches wide, wide as a timber railroad tie. And I don't know what the concrete mix is, of course, but here we go. So this looks like a nice failure. Um, I, it was a nice idea to build it, but then this is also the failure idea. This, this whole ledge um, set up where the timber, where the uh, railroad tide just sits in the water. Good yeah, that's good! Stand out of the way from the camera. Want it all right here? Yeah, perfect. Thank you.